Hello there. Today I have two cameras to talk about. The first one is in this bag. It's a Mansfield holiday camera. Automatic electric eye. Single lens video camera. Comes in this handy uh, box. Carry box. Uh, in the box it is disassembled. This is the main body of the camera. Here's the uh, handle. So it looks like you just sort of... Uh, this comes together and you screw this thing here. And there you go. Ready for action. So this camera was made from the late 1950s to the 1960s. Comes with a booklet, an instruction booklet. And a little pamphlet about what film to put in it. That's all that's in the, the carry case. So you can see, uh, if we take a look around the camera, um, it's got one EE is the model number. It's called a holiday camera. There's various filters down here, which you can adjust. I'm guessing this is how you wind. There's some kind of winding mechanism inside. And then you push the trigger to start recording. Pretty, uh, pretty heavy, decent weight to it, but I guess that's how things were made back in the day. So I'll just go through the uh, manual here. Mansfield Holiday Single Lens, 1 EE Automatic Electric Eye 8mm Movie Camera. Read this camera guide carefully. Discover how easy it is to make, to take movies, professional type movies with your Mansfield Holiday 1 EE Electric Eye 8mm movie camera. Here it has, uh, talks about the parts of the camera. How to operate your camera. Here's all you do. Set the film speed. Load the camera. Be sure to remove the lens cap. Frame your subject and take the picture. How to load your 1EE camera. Use standard 8mm double 8 in brackets roll film only. Your camera should be loaded in subdued light, never in direct bright sunlight. Open the camera. Insert the film. Thread the film gate. Thread film take up. This is how camera should look when properly loaded. Tips for better movies. Always hold the camera as steady as possible. Hmm. Take pictures with the sun behind you. The electric eye can read the scene more accurately if the rule is followed. Planning is the term used when the panning is the term used when the camera is moved horizontally when making m movies. This should be done slowly and carefully to avoid unwanted effects as jerking movements and blurring of the projected picture. Time your scenes. Plan your movies in advance. When taking movies indoors. Know at a glance how much film is left with the automatic footage indicator. There's some uh, positions of the automatic footage indicator showing you what to do. Motor winding handle. That's the handle I was using this one. Just a twist of the wrist does it. 
before you start shooting movies, wind up the motor fully. A powerful spring drive motor advances film through the camera. Simply pull the knob end of the winding handle up away from the camera body. Yep. And swing it over fully, grasping the knob. Turn handle in a clockwise right hand direction until the spring feels tight. Don't force it. Overwinding can damage the precision mechanism. When the spring is fully wound, reverse the handle slightly so the knob can fold back into the camera body. Each full winding will advance about 6 feet of film, enough for about 30 seconds of shooting, or 5 to 6 average length scenes. There's something about automatic operation and manual operation. This is talking about the filter, care and cleaning, and there's a guarantee on the back as well. So that's the manual. Mansfield Holiday, a division of Argus Incorporated, Chicago, 48, Illinois, USA. Printed in Japan. So that's 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 the manual. So now let's take a look at this um, other pamphlet we're talking about the film. So it says Kodachrome 2 movie film. Double 8mm daylight type. The film, this film is intended for making full colour movies in daylight. The bluish cast sometimes evident in pictures taken in the shade under a blue sky or in distant views, sea, snow and high altitude scenes can be reduced by the use of a Kodak Rattan, in inverted commas, 1A skylight filter. No exposure increase is necessary. I think it's just talking about different types of film. What has it got? I don't want to really go into read it all. Actually, no, it's the same type, but in different languages. So that was English. Now this looks like uh, German. Kodachrome 2 is mal film. Kodachrome 2 Film Cine, that's French. Kodachrome 2 Smell Film. Okay, well, there's a little thing about film. Not really that interesting. All right. So there's the uh, holiday um, Mansfield Holiday Single Lens Automatic Electric Eye 8mm ca Video Camera. This is a Kodak Junior One camera. You see it's got a, quite a hard box. Um, some writing on the side talking about the features. Self-erecting mechanism. Kodet 3 shutter. Optical viewfinder. Pixel, shu pixel size. Um, I'm guessing that's 2 inches and 1 quarter times 3 inches and 1 quarter. 8 exposures on number 620 Kodak film. Takes number 250 Kodak lens attachment. Made in England by Kodak Limited London. Okay, so let's take it out of the box. It slides out. Which is now it's inside this pack. And it's quite compact. There's also a manual in there. How to use your Kodak Junior One camera. Get to know your camera and be sure of good pictures. To open, okay, I'll follow these instructions. Hold upright and press the black button. Hmm. Hold upright. There we go. See, it's opening slowly there. Give it a little bit of 
bit of encouragement. There we go. Holding the camera. Stand 8 feet or 2.4 meters or more from your subject. For pictures to be proud of, hold the camera still. Hold the camera straight. Take fast moving subjects approaching or reducing receding rather than passing right in front of you. Watch the background. With close ups, use a porter lens. Keep the subject away from the top and left of the viewfinder, or you may cut off some of the desired picture. Keep the lens clear of dust, fingerprints, or sp and spray by gentle, gently wiping the, with a clean, soft cloth. It is advisable to wind up the next film number as soon as you have taken a picture. Flashlight. It is quite simple to make really good flash pictures at night or in a darkened room. The shutter pointer is moved to the letter B, the camera held firmly on the hard flat surface and the flash holder held above to one side of the camera. Kodak film makes the picture. Velox paper makes the print. It seems like it will add for Kodak and Velox here. Hand your exposed film to a Kodak dealer who will arrange for the speedy reduction of high quality prints. Ask for them to be on Kodak Velox paper. Ask him to also show you the carrying case and other accessories and the invaluable Kodak publication, How to Make Good Pictures. Ah, then it's just got to think about which film to use. Printed in English. So let's take a look at the camera. So it's sort of a plastic body, the body feels pretty light and not that solid actually. But the uh, folding uh, folding uh, mechanism here feels quite sturdy. The quality of the, um, the lens and the instruments here seems pretty good. Um, it's got a Kodak Junior 1 camera. I think by taking a picture, you uh, hold this and then push this in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it said. That's what he's doing in the manual. When taking the picture, be careful to press the shutter slowly and gently. A sudden jerk will cause a blurred picture. Slowly and gently. Alright, well, there's the back of the camera, you can see. Now, I'm assuming to put it in, you just sort of fold these things down and then push it back. It's secure. Okay. There we go, off to the side. So, there you go. A couple of vintage cameras from the 1950s and 60s. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for watching. See ya.